Another day, another story. It happened a few years back when I found myself home alone on Christmas Eve. Trust me, it's not your typical cozy holiday story. So, I'm a 33-year-old nurse and I live alone, no gifts for myself either. No big deal, right? I decided to make the most of it, with the tree all lit up and the house wrapped in lights. Little did I know things were about to get real creepy. Once it hit midnight, that's when I heard it, a distant jingle. At first, I brushed it off, thinking it was just the wind or some random Christmas tune stuck in my head. But then the jingle got louder and it was coming from outside, like someone was wandering around the front yard. Curiosity getting the best of me, I peeked through the curtains. There, under the flickering street lamp, was a figure in a black coat. Creepy, right? But it gets worse. The figure turned, and for a moment I swear its eyes glowed like two eerie old yellowish-green Christmas bulbs. I got brave and decided to investigate. I cautiously opened the front door, and the chill hit me like a freight train. No one was there, just the echoing jingle sound fading into the night. My gut told me something wasn't right, but I shrugged it off as my imagination playing tricks on me. Back inside, the house seemed different, quieter, colder. The Christmas tree lights flickered erratically, casting freaky shadows on the walls. And that jingle, oh, it echoed through the halls like a sinister carol. I made my way to the living room, and that's when I saw it. A gift, perfectly wrapped with a blood-red bow. I live alone and don't put gifts under my tree, no tag, no indication of who it was from just sitting there like a creepy surprise out of nowhere. I hesitated, but curiosity got the best of me, and I tore open the wrapping. Inside, an old cracked music box. As I wound it up, the chilling jingle echoed once more, filling the room. The melody was haunting, like a ritual lullaby. Suddenly, the lights flickered. I felt exhausted, and the room went ice cold. I could feel someone or something behind me, and when I turned, the figure from outside stood there, now in the shadows of my living room. Those glowing eyes stared right at me, right through me. I bolted for the door, leaving the gift and the presence behind me. The moment I stepped outside, the jingle stopped, the figure vanished, and the air warmed up almost instantly. To this day, I can't explain what happened that Christmas Eve. But one thing's for sure, Holly Lane, where I used to live, is super creepy and no twinkling lights can erase what I saw that night. So, if you ever find yourself alone on Christmas, don't open any random gift under your tree. Until next time, my terror tubers.